This here is my Jungle Jag. I have to use the hooks here the last couple times to get them out because he's been kind of cranky. But once he is out, back up just a hair. <laughs> oh, he's in a good mood now. There we go. I found when using the hooks, the more aggressive ones, as long as they keep their tail wrapped on the hook, they seem to stay pretty mellow and you can handle them okay. Oops, don't want you to pull buddy. I don't know if you can really tell, but he's getting orange right behind his eyes. He's got a clown or a thing on his head. Name him Loki. After the thing of mischief. I kind of think some of these names I've given these snakes have come back to curse me. Like my yellow anaconda's apocalypse. Probably the death of me. He is a 2010 Jungle Jag. He didn't really go to shed too. Seems like they all are. I swear they all shed a week apart. He's a real beauty. He will be getting bred in a couple years with my Diamond Jungle and maybe even with my Jag. I haven't decided yet. And I think him and my Burrell would make some really beautiful babies too. Get him to stretch. Horn dog. He's almost three and a half, pushing four foot already. And as you can tell, for being a 2010, he's much bigger than my female coastal. And and here it's hard to tell, but outside in the sunlight, he's got amazing color and really nice, neat pattern. That wheel.